Howdy, folks. Shabby's back. He's in the house. He's in Grey Mother's house. And he's back to go into Hush River Valley and find the Signal Void bunker. We don't have to find it. We know where it is. We just need to get in there. So let's get in there. Okay. Uh, look at all the stuff. All right, make sure we grab our things that we dropped. Uh, here, I'll sort all this out. I don't need the pry bar. Wait a minute. We're going to be going to... No, we don't need the pry bar. Man, I got a I'm running out of space here. I think I want to take some flour. The all-important flour. Um, we're going to pick up some more coal along the way. Rootbeard's already along for the ride. Welcome, Rootbeard. Welcome. I'm just trying to adjust my brain into TLD mode here. Hang on. I was just playing uh, Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> I'm playing that again. I play. I've... I, I finished it and I'm playing it again a second time. Still an awesome game. Amazing game. Alright. Let's see here. We need to drop anything. This is looking... Okay, we got too many cattails, I think. I just hope I don't forget them. I'm going to put them in the refrigerator. <laughs> Uh, don't forget your don't forget your cattail shabby. Okay, we might make some prepper's pie along the way. Let me drop some cloth too. All right, just lighten the load a little bit. Lighten the load. Feeling like we got some nice weather, so I kind of want to get get moving here okay we definitely need some coal we have no well I just said we're gonna pick up some coal let's just get at least a couple though just in case just in case got some rose hip pie in there do we need a hacksaw yeah I might as well take it we have we have lots of room for that wouldn't wouldn't be a bad idea to make some torches I would drink almost anything about now. I guess we can drop this stuff now. We don't need it. Drop that. Drop that. Okay. I mean, we have a ton of sewing kits. I feel like... Oh, let's just go and drop them. We're, we have to come back here, no matter what, and move all this stuff over to the farmhouse, so... Guess it wouldn't hurt to, you know, lose about a half kilo right there. Okay, let's grab some coal. Let's see if we can make some. Let's see if we can make a torch. Should we take the lantern? Take the lantern. We have room. Let's just eat this. Vitamin C. Get some vitamin C in us. Okay, now I'm thinking. Should we take something? Should we make Lily's pancakes? Would that help us? Here in this in this situation, uh, let's see, Lily's pancakes. We just get a condition bump, which is not a bad idea. Um, yeah, I think Prepper's Pie is just. Far superior. If we can find two more burdock roots, we can make two. So we can make one right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a, a torch. I think I can do that. Yeah, here we go. 
Okay, we make a couple. Let's make two. And then I'm going to put the rest of the fuel in the lantern. And then we'll go. Okay, looking good. We are looking good, folks. Nothing. Man, we got to sharpen this. Uh, one whetstone. <laughs> we have more whetstones, just not here. They're just on the other side of the world, unfortunately. Okay. All right, let's hit it. Look at this nice weather we got. You got some rabbit meat out here. I'm not going to take it. Is this empty? It is. I think we can use this. Okay. So it looks like we lost... What did we lose? About 12%, I think. I think we lost 12% from... The Bear Bridge to Grey Mothers. Just, I'm just trying to get an idea of how, you know, what the what's the wear and tear on these travois? What's what is that? I'm just gonna pick a few cattails. We're not in a big hurry. We have a we have a bit. You know what? I just realized something. We might want to see if there's if the moose is up. I'm just gonna pick these cattails in this little little pocket here and then. We'll see if the moose is up. I'd like to get... I'd like to, we're either going to get a moose or a bear. We're definitely going to get a bear. We might be able to get a moose too. And I'm talking later on. Not. I'm not talking... I'm not talking right now. Just after we get back from Hush River Valley. Here comes some snow, so weather's going to change on us. It's like it knows we want to travel this direction. Let's just keep moving. I'll get these. I'll get these cattails later. Let's see, some not, uh, I think I've seen a, a maple up here on this hillside before, but I'm not seeing it now. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. I be I gotta be careful about my hatchet. My hatchet's gonna anything right now. It's gonna break on me if I'm not careful. All right, let's get ready for a, a wolf. There, there's a wolf lurking about. Yeah, there was a birch. Yeah, there was a birch near closer to the road. Oh, did or did you see another one that I just missed just now? Because I do. I yesterday I saw. A, a birch by the road somewhere somewhere over here but I'm just gonna oh there's a wolf there we go wait a minute yes that's a wolf <laughs> Should kill that damn thing now we gotta keep moving let's just keep moving yeah yeah okay it was yesterday yeah it's over by the road or something can't remember exactly where this we're get out of the wind and we're warming up okay so the moose 
pond is right up here. And we'll see. Let's see if we got anything. Got some deer. I do need deer. I really do. Let's see. Sun's going down. I might just want to get in position. Let's just get in position in Hush River Valley. We'll try to get we'll try to get too close to the uh, bunker before the aurora hits. I know that's a little cheesy, but it's safer. I'd rather not deal with aurora wolves or an aurora bear for that matter, because it is close to where the bear spawns. Sometimes I'll just clear out the wolves before the aurora. Um, so I don't have to deal with them. But we're not going to have that opportunity here to do that. Wait, did I go too far? Yeah, I went a little too far. Let's just, we'll go around this way. Now there is a wolf that hangs out in here too. He's not around. He's not around. Lots of sticks, though. There's deer on stair steps. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, on, in the Hush River. Yeah, I'm not gonna be going that way. Anything right about now? On this one, on this particular. I mean, I might after this, after the bunker. I might. But I'm just going to head right over to where the bunker is and just sit there. I need to find some place to escape this cold. Oh. Stair Step Slakes is right by the bunker? Well, let's wait until we get there. I'll, I'll try. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. All right, we're going to leave these here to cure. And just want to get something to eat real quick. Okay. There's a pretty decent amount of coal in here. I want to grab that. I think this will be a night for some pretty nice timing on this. I think this is gonna, I think it's gonna work out nicely. I mean, as far as the timing goes, you never know what you're going to run into, though. Weird stuff happens. It just does. Okay, I am going to go ahead, since I'm below 50% on my energy, I'm going to go ahead and eat one of these. Weird stuff does indeed happen, yes. <laughs> That's why it's, it's uh, it just always, I don't know. It's, we all make plan. you know, you make plans. You have, you have a plan in your brain. Um, 
but you have to really just be flexible because sometimes it's just like the weirdest stuff happens so unexpected and especially the weather that is one thing you know you you can have all these plans but the weather really has a big say in if you're going to be able to do it or not uh, shall I leave the Travoy? I don't know. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna leave the Travoy. I don't see how it's gonna help us right now. Yeah, let's just leave it. Okay. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm doing that because I have a, I will have to have a fire here while I'm waiting for the aurora. So I have a torch. I'll have a torch going into the into the bunker. I'll be able to see with the torch. I, don't, I also, I really don't know exactly where the bunker is, so I just want to kind of get in the general area. Actually, you know what? Let's go back up here. I want, I want to see if there's the snow shelter is up here. There's a little bit of good loot if the snow shelter is present. It kind of moves around. So this is just one of the spots you'll find it. Kind of down, down in here somewhere. I don't think it's here. There's a maple there. Let's grab that maple. Yeah, it's like right here, I think. That's where you'll normally see it. Oh, shoot. And I keep doing that. I'm going to drop my axe. Oh, this is tedious, but it's going to save, save our axe a little bit. It just defaults to your axe when you're chopping things. I mean, which makes sense, but, you know, the wear and tear, you might want to keep an eye on that. Can I make it across here? Yeah, okay. Hey, Pest, what's shabbing? How's it going? What's shappening? Shabbing? No. Yeah, shabbing. There we go, that's what you were trying to say. <laughs> I just didn't read it right. What's shabbing? Not much, man. We're in HRV. We have a an Aurora headed our way. We're gonna get in this bunker, hopefully. As long as I can avoid, you know, getting killed. We have full health though, so you know, we probably could withstand whatever it decides to throw at us. Is that the bear sleeping? No no, that's just a rock. Is this a rock shabby? Bear cave somewhere in here. You don't think cutting saplings degrades tools? Oh, okay. Oh, I had no idea. I did not know that. Now this is the... I think this is the bunker right here, right? Pretty sure that's the bunker. Alright, well let's go down here. I'm going to find a nice little... I'm going to get this maple and then find a little spot to put my... Uh, I did not know that. Okay, well that's good to know. 
that was kind of a hassle. So, thanks for letting me know that. Um, okay, yeah, let's grab these, and then I'm gonna... Oh, there's a carcass down there. Alright, let's find a nice spot to, to stick a fire. God, I need anything right about now. Man, I didn't realize the bunker was so close. You're right, you're right, uh, Pess. Or, I mean, uh, Rootbeard, it is pretty close to the lake. I thought it was much further down. I thought it was closer to, um, there's a couple caves down that way. And I thought it was closer to that, but it's not. Okay. Well, there's a deer right there. Let's get this deer. Got him. All right. I love shooting from a crouch. I'm, I need to get better at shooting from a crouch, but it is... It is the way to go, man. All right. Well, this isn't much cover, but we'll just let's just do it. Having an aurora coming up, you pretty much can guarantee that there's not not going to be any crazy wind or anything. So, so we can kind of count on that. Take advantage of that. All right. We're doing it. We could make some venison pie. It might not be a bad idea. Let's see, let's just get these going. Alright. There we go. I love when you get I love when you get your skills up there, you can just sort of just knock stuff out pretty quick. It's nice. So this is one of those games where This is the weird game where this is one of those weird games where things get easier the, f the longer you play it. <laughs> Just not... Most games... It tends to get harder as you as you progress, but this gets easier, so... Um, Alright, I'm going to try to get this fire over here. If I can. Okay. Alright, sweet. Come on, little fire. Man, I could use a drink. Uh oh wait, did it knock it? No, it's not getting knocked out. Okay, let's give it a shot. Let's see. Let's make uh let's see here. I guess we can cook a little bit more. I'm gonna, at some point along the way, I'm gonna have to start making decisions on, like, using my flour. Because it's not gonna last forever. We're not even 100 days in yet. I mean, I still have, I have a lot of flour. I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking ahead. I'm just voicing my thoughts. Let's see, venison pot. We don't have, I don't think we have any on us, do we? Let's see.
26 minutes, all right. Where are you, venison pie? There you are, down at the bottom. Okay. Feels like night is coming. Love these things. Forty-two minutes, two minutes on that. Okay, yep, it's clearing up. We still have a little bit of time before you know things start to get a little crazy. I just mean like, I'm I mean crazy as in when the aurora like really kicks in. Let me explain what I mean by crazy. That could mean anything. All right, let's grab a grab some stuff off this critter. I don't know if you can call a deer a critter or not. I wonder what the size limit on a critter is. Like a bat, like badger and smaller, is that is that critter? What do you guys think? No slappy sounds for the pies. You gotta look out for that. Look out. I guess we can just keep on cooking. Might as well. Fifty-three minutes. It's about how long it's going to take before the, before we get the, oh wait, oh that must have been a tiny piece. Um, yeah, it's going to be about an hour probably before we get the uh, Aurora really kicking in. Let's go ahead and just get a gut. It didn't matter, whatever. We got a windy aurora, sounds like. Don't like that. There he goes. 13 minutes. In. Here's some more feathers. There we go. All right. Okay. Well, we're just waiting. Oh, okay. I thought I would get a... Alright, we're, we're ready to go. We're ready to go. Let's just get our meat and then we'll go on in there. I'll just leave all this out here. We'll come get it later. Yeah, I'm not going to need any of this stuff. Alright. Just to, just to make it official, let's use our... All of God, God's critters are critters. <laughs> I think badger. I think I think a badger is probably a good mark for a critter or not. I don't know. Oh, I forgot to get a torch. Oh, are we going to save a map? Damn it. <laughs> oh, 
What if I get killed going down here just trying to save a match? If we lose our fire, it's out anyways. Oh well. Oh shabby. Oh shabby. What have you done? I love this. I think Signal Boy is just such a... I, I'm so happy with it. I think it was a great addition to the to this mode. just absolutely love it. I know that's, that opinion is not shared by all, but... Um, this shabby, for one, really loves it. Alright, I just want to make sure... Ah, let's just go... Let's go through and loot the containers first before we... Light that torch. We'll save it. Alright, let's go ahead and do this stuff. I hope you don't mind, I'm going to skip through this. I've already Session done this 14, stuff Medical before. Officer interviewing patient seven. Return to the first instance. Can you just escape out of it? You do you have to go it? through it? Okay. Was that the beach? Just pictures in my head. I'm used to Feelings. Baldur's Gate three, where you can just like hit you just the space bar where the, where and just go through the dialogue. Way down to the water, no drop off. I remember a, a gray day and dark water, no wind, no waves. Okay, I'm gonna get some coffee. I'll be right back. I was alone looking around a lot. I didn't understand what was happening. What, what do you think when you're that little? Always wondered why it was that day, that trip that stuck with me. Focus on the ending. The final frame. They lost me. Just a little kid. I always think that it uh, sounds like Nick Offerman. The, the, the psychologist. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't sound just like him. It sounds kind of like him, though. Another sewing kit. How about a whetstone? How about one of those? Oh, there's a drawer back there? Somewhere. What the hell? Oh, there it is. Okay. Is there something up here? Okay. Weird. Okay. I mean, it just looks weird. It's weird because I can't see it. <laughs> just like it's just black. Um, okay, we came... from that direction. Okay, let's go down here. Alright, here's the uh, security chief. The island hasn't been making our lives any easier. Hauling loads from the coast to the inland bases has been slow and costly. And people are starting to notice our operation around the airfield and mine. It's getting harder to stay under the radar. But the character of the locals, both here and far inland... Yeah, it's not too long. Favor. It It is... I wish you could skip through there it. There aren't any helping hands. Uh, that's okay. Outsiders get ignored and then forgotten. And we play the part. Yeah, that was really short. Okay, completed. All right. Anything up there? You want to listen to the radio? Let's listen to the radio. Why not? If you uh, if you look at the like in between like load screens you'll read you'll read sometimes you'll see something about the piano man of uh, Black Rock prison and uh, so like my theory is the is the piano player is, is Black Rock prison <laughs> piano pianist <laughs> yeah that's shabby's theory that's shabby's theory oh no yeah, I love it. I love doing the tails. I love it. You can get corn and ham, too. I mean... You don't want to miss out on that. You want to get all the corn and all the ham you can. 
Except for I'm not seeing any. Oh no. Is there no... Is, is there no... None of the goodies in here? Oh, that's too bad. Oh, wait, wait, here we go. Here's some can Here's some corn. Now, you can miss the ham pretty easily. So this is potable? But this was... Yeah, it is potable. Okay. The ham... The ham can't... If you look at it from the side, it really... It's really kind of hard to see, because it's kind of thin. But, uh, I'm not seeing any ham. Wait, up there? Nope. Well, that's a bummer. We'll come back through here with the torch real quick, in a, in a, in a bit. Alright, is this the small bunker? This is the small bunker, isn't it? Oh, no, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, that's the bathroom. Okay, that's it. That's the whole shebang. Does this one have a workbench in it? I'm just curious. Right here? Right here's a workbench. Okay. Alright, let's light a torch, finish looting, and then I'm gonna go sleep. Any potatoes? I don't know why it cracks me up, but I just think of potatoes. They just hide. They're just, they just, they're usually just laying about in like these dark corners. Something about the potato just really likes. It's shy. Potatoes are shy. That's what it is. It's. I mean, it's a cliche at this point. Everyone knows that. Yeah, this was weird. Okay. Alright. I knew I knew it was something odd. It's like, what is this? Yeah, this is a pretty small bunker. Not much to it. Um, and no ham. That's that is a real bummer. That's a real bummer. Looking high, looking low. Any bathroom ham? No. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's get some sleep. How about some like ham underneath this, like in the bed? Bed ham. You rip up this cloth, and there's like two or three cans of ham underneath it. Okay. I don't even. I don't even know. Calm down, shabby. Yeah, I saw that, and I, I, I saw the levitator. <laughs> there's a streamer on, well, I don't know if it's a streamer, but there's, uh, let's call it streaming if it's not live, I don't know. But anyway, Sprocket is someone on YouTube post uh, TLD videos, and he's got a levitating potato, and, uh, that has been dubbed the levitator. It's in camp office. It's very cool. Mesmerizing, even. You could get behind a ham pillow, I think. Yeah, me too. Okay. All right, let's go to sleep. Let's go to... Oop. Okay. Man, I could really use a lantern right now. Glad we saved that kilo and a half of weight, carrying weight though. Get lost in this bunker. Can I get out of here? Maybe. No, that looks like a... Oh man. Oh shabby. Okay, so I, I remember that thing. Oh, here we go. Still have it? Okay. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's see what's going on out here in the world.
Okay, now what are we gonna do? Should we continue looting or should we just get the hell out of here? I kind of want to get the hell out of here. We'll come back later to Hush River. I mean, I do love this zone. Kind of get want to get on with the... Oh, you know what? Let's go try to get the... Um, I'm going to leave all this here. I'm just going to eat. We're going to go to... I'm going to try to get some underwear. I think there's some guaranteed underwear. Go towards the light, Shabby. <laughs> It's dark down in that bunker, man. All right, let's get a um, let's get a mag lens, and then we're gonna go try to get some underwear. While it's nice and calm right now, I'm gonna I'll warm up some teas, and then we'll come back here and grab this stuff and get out of here. But I do believe there's some guaranteed, um, there's some guaranteed. Long John's over, I don't know, it's not too far from here. I guess all our stuff is in our... Here we go. Alright. I'm going to throw a coal on here so we can warm up. I'm going to make... We'll make some tea. Got our corn. We scored some corn. It's pretty good. What's wrong with that? Okay, here comes the wind, of course, because we threw a, because we threw a coal on the fire. That's that cued the the wind. That's what happened. Every time, it's like clockwork, man. It's like freaking clockwork. I might as well just let's make a, let's make another one real quick. All right. I mean, as long as it stays kind of breezy like this, that's fine. But definitely not something you want to count on. Trusty flask here. All right, grab our can. All right, we are going to come back here before we leave. So, oh, it's gone. Okay. All right, so much for that plan. Why does why is the 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 bow the last thing? Why? I don't, I don't understand that. I mean, if it went from the, the flare gun to the bow, I guess it would make a little bit of sense. Like, okay, all right. Flare gun is more, you know, emergency. But it goes from flare gun to rock and then the bow. You've given up on using two? Two what? I know it probably made sense in, in context, but Oh, are you oh I have my I have my keys remapped. So it's two like arm arm a weapon. Norm on default. Oh the wind stopped. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I have everything remapped. I don't even know what the normal defaults are. I started playing whenever back in the day. Um, let's even get a maglens. Uh, back in the day, I was playing uh, World of Warcraft. So that's kind of my first like really game. I was really kind of 
I really got, got into gaming on, and uh, I, re I had all my keys remapped. I used the arrow keys, and uh, ooh. I used the arrow keys, and then I have like all the key also like the number pad and stuff. I have everything sort of mapped in that area. I mean, I started doing that with World of Warcraft, and I just, like, every every game that I play, I just remap to this kind of zone over here. Although, Baldur's Gate 3, I didn't do that. Because it's not really an action game. You don't need to be sort of quick with your fingers and stuff on the keyboard, so I didn't remap on Baldur's Gate 3. And then... Okay, speaking of controller, uh, I was I, I got Witcher three, and for the PC, and uh, that was that game was hard to play with the keyboard, so I got a controller for that. A Mackinac in here, look at that. Well, this stuff will come in handy. Um, let's just keep moving. This is a this is kind of my hangout cave right here, but. Um, I want to run since the since it's calm, and there's a bunch of wolves around here, <laughs> all the time. Let's just keep moving because it's nice and chill right now. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a couple of teas, get out of the wind, and pop a couple of teas real quick. Okay. Pest just said, I never remap games. Am I weird? Don't answer that. Okay. I don't think that's weird. I think a lot of people do that. Okay, so there's a there's a little um, kind of tucked away back here behind some thorns. There is, I think it's a corpse in a backpack. I want to say, and I think there's guaranteed underwear over here. This also, whenever the DLC first came out, am I going the I'm going the wrong way. It's over here this way. When the DLC first came out. There was a green wool shirt that would also spawn here on Interloper. Can I get over this log? Oh, come on. Oh, yep. Yeah, there we go. All right. Let's get this guy. All right. He turned just at the right moment. Love me some inverted y-axis though? Oh my. On a mouse. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to think. Like, isn't that like games where you're like, you fly, you're flying and stuff like that? You know, you pull back on the yoke to go up. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we, we're going to get some underwear. Hopefully they're not ruined. Yes, new! 97%! How is that, how is that possible? How is that possible? Ah, oh, that's awesome. Woo! Alright, look at this warmth bonus, baby. Alright. Sweet. It's because I'm old and I played fly Flight Sims with a mouse before FPS games existed. Okay. Yeah, there's a... Actually, there's a really... Um, what? I know there's a fairly new flight simulator that's out, right? I was really looking at that one. And it's all like real airports and stuff like that. It sounded really cool. 
but I've never really been into flight simulator games, so I didn't, I didn't get it, but I was really tempted to. Okay, so one more little item that I want to grab before we leave, and that is the stalker's pie. And I might need a little bit of help on this, but I do think that, generally speaking, it's over here by the bear cave. Okay, I'm hearing something over there. It's a wolf eating. Uh oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. No, it's a bear. It's a bear. Big bear. Big bear. I don't see him, but he, I heard him and he, 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 he aggroed on me, but I don't know. We'll just let him do his thing over there. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a deer. Oh, I heard a running sound and I got freaked out for a second. X-Wing and TIE Fighter. Um, I played, uh, I played, uh, what was that game? Oh, Battlefront. And it had, a. it had like a, it had like one of the battlefields was, you know, you could just, I don't know what you call it. it was space battles or whatever. And uh, I sucked at it. I was terrible. I'd just get, I'd just get annihilated every time I'd try it. So I just stuck, I stuck on the ground. I was just more comfortable on the ground. There's lots of mushrooms here, but I'm not hearing any crows. Of course, I'm talking a lot. Sounds like it's over this way. So the stalker's pie is on a corpse. Okay, we're getting close. It's over here somewhere. There it is. We got it. This is not a great pie, but I like to collect them all. I want to have all of them. Okay. A rich pie with bear and wolf meat. Dangerous, mysterious filling. Oh my. Okay. Alright, we got this amazing weather. Jesus, this is cold. I only find it by luck. Yeah, well, I mean, if if you mean if if it's lucky to have nice weather in HRV, which it is, then you can find it. Yeah, I pretty much have to have the crows to do it. I, I I stumbled upon it by accident the first time I found it. I was trying to leave the zone and I just literally just walked up onto the corpse like, "Oh shit, what's this?" I know HRV quite well, but this little area in the middle is the here be dragons part. It is for me too. Yeah, this this um, kind of from this cave. I know this cave, but I know this sort of this area on this side of the cave because I always go to this cave. But this side is the gets a little wonky over there for me. And then up in here too, kind of like there are some spots up on that, on the, on those rocks up there, and and then oops, and then these rocks too. You can get up in those rocks and then um, kind of go around to the other side and stuff, and it gets and it's a little wonky too. It's a little weird. There's a wolf. Oh, he's scared of us. He's scared of us. I'm 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 a little weird, but every time I I say he's afraid or he's scared of us, I'll always think about that scene. In wow, that fire's still going. That's crazy. And here I thought it was gonna get blown out. I always think about the last scene in um. Oh my God, uh, Star Starship Troopers, where uh, uh, what's the guy's name? 
Patrick, what? What's his name? Doogie Howser? What's his name? I should know his name. I love this actor. But he, he, he puts his head against the, the, the boss of the, or one of the brains of the aliens, and he's like, they're afraid, and everyone cheers like, yeah! <laughs> I don't know why. It cracks me up. Okay, let's go up around this way, actually. Oh, wait, can I? Can I get up there? Doesn't look like it. Okay, we gotta go around this way, then. We are super, super stinky. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna... Oop. Hurry. There we go. Neil Patrick Harris. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. I said Patrick. That's all I could get out of my out of my brain. That was a movie I saw when I was too young to get it. I didn't quite get that movie. And same thing with RoboCop, who's the, the same director did both of those movies, and I'm blanking on his name right now. But they're very similar. They're very similar movies. And it's really about propaganda and things like that as opposed to just like cool action movies. Yeah, the people that read the book that read the book, like they, they yeah, they're pretty not happy with the movie. But yeah, he took the he really changed what the movie... Yeah, Starship Troopers. I, yeah, I knew exactly what you are talking about. Um, love the book and the movie is almost literally nothing in common. Yeah, because... I don't know, I read a... I was watching a review about it recently and... It's been a couple years actually, but... So I'm going to really kind of have some vague in, info here for you, but... I think the director was had a movie already in mind and just used Starship Troopers as a vehicle. Paul Verhoeven, that's it. Yep. I mean, if you watch if you watch um, RoboCop and Starship Troopers, they are very, very similar type of movies. It's kind of the same message in both in, in both movies. But the book, yeah, the book is very different. Satire on fascism. That's it, Rootbeard. You got it. Although Robocop is a little different message, though, I feel like. But it is a satire as well. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, signal void one down, baby. really like HRV, uh, but I'm also just, I want to keep moving with this quest we're on. We're definitely, again, I say this many times throughout the stream, but um, we will come back to all of these zones and do some mapping. Actually, not some mapping. We're going to do all the mapping. We're going to do all the mapping. So we will spend a lot of time in all of these zones when we when we come back, come back around. Only side trip I'm really thinking about doing right now is going into Black Rock, but that's, you know, that's days and days away. We're waiting. 
not going to be able to carry this load. Right, yeah, we got a lot there. of stuff. Let's go ahead and just we'll pick this up. Okay. All right. Are we stopping now? I don't know. I think I can keep going for a bit. Um, give me just a uh, give me a give me a couple minutes here. I'll be right back. Hold tight. Three minutes. So, okay. All right. This way. Okay. Oh my goodness, we have a lot of stuff on us. Let's, let's just take a look. I was doing a lot of talking and not thinking about what what I was up to. What I'm what am I doing here? Let's see. It's all good. Oh, did I grab my pot? Wait a minute. Oh no! Oh wait, here they are. Oh, I got worried there for a second. Um. I don't know. I might just go back to the... I'm trying to think about... I'm trying to come up with a plan here. I don't want to carry the, all this around. I don't like to... I don't want to drag the Travoy just to carry a bunch of just stuff. I think what I would like to do, I'm going to leave, I'm either going to leave some stuff here or I'm going to leave some stuff at the trailer. Let's just leave it here. We'll leave a pile of stuff here. How do I miss these these pieces of coal? Probably talking too much, Shabby. That's what you tend to do. I had a lantern and everything and missed those. What the hell? How's that possible? I mean, they didn't respawn. Did they respawn already? What the? What's going on here? Look at this. Did I miss these? I'm gonna have to go back and watch that. That's weird. Hmm. Maybe the maybe the aurora respawned them. One of the weird effects of the aurora. Okay, I'm gonna make a little fire here and hook up the rest of this meat. We'll do a little bit of gear sorting and then we'll head on to the bear bridge and then get that flask that I'm so excited about. Make a little bit of water here. The game has special bugs designed specifically to gaslight us into thinking we're bad at coal picking. <laughs> Damn, this game is evil. 
the hell? Messing with us. Just absolutely messing with us. You know, I got kind of upset because, you know, I'm, earlier when I made that fire, when I was waiting for the aurora. No, no, it was in the morning. In the morning, I put the coal on. And then I started, like, you know, yelling at the game about the wind picking up, and then it didn't. So, again, it's like it's it, it hears us like, no. I'm just gonna prove you wrong. I'm just gonna mess with you. That's what that's what it does. That's just what it does. Drop this. Gotta lose some weight here, folks. Guess I can drop some coal too. Ten coal. That sounds good to me. Let's just oop. Oh my god, I did it again. I double clicked on it. Just click on it once, Shabby. Come on. There we go. Okay, I think we're good here. Oh, we can make some prepper's pie. Maybe we should do that. I'd like to walk around with some prepper's pie in my pocket. It's basically an MRE and a stem in, in one thing. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah, often, uh, Root Beer says, yeah, often coal respawns almost immediately. I often do two passes through caves when I'm looking for coal. Really? Okay. I mean, I guess I don't really notice that because usually you're just, like, you usually just pass through a cave and then you're gone for a bit and you might come back several days later. Stick, a little stick on there. All right, let's do some more water and then we'll go. Yeah, everything's looking good here. We got how many how many maples we have? We have four maples. Okay, we could we have fixings for Travoy down the road and the deer hide and the gut. So we have and we can repair one too. <laughs> we got all all the good stuff. I wonder if it's related to how cave deer show up on the second entry. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I like that. I like that thought. I'm going to break down these acorns here. Oh, okay. There we go. Confused. All right, well, now we have enough acorns for... Um, We have enough acorns now for uh, two acorn grounds. All right, off we go. Don't think I need to take any, I'm just gonna leave this stuff. It'll be fine. It's a little bit of a trip to retrieve all of it, but it should be okay. I have a feeling we're going to get some more meat because I do think I'm, I'm going to try to take this bear out. So let's just eat the rest or how much whatever we can here. Ah, oh, so close. All right. 
I'm hanging on to the pies, though. Pies are staying with me. I like to save room for tea just in case. Let's get over here out of the wind if we can. Sweet. Sorry, I'm just curious. 94. Okay, still haven't hit day. Oh man, we're we are we are the days are going by pretty slow. I think once I start fishing, then we're gonna then we're gonna start racking up some days. But it's definitely kind of slow going on this progress. Yeah, you'll have to pry Shabby's prize pies from his cold dead fingers. That's right. Absolutely. Pest nose. I don't think we have a... We don't have a pry bar... Uh, I think I already checked it anyways. Well, I definitely checked it, but I think I already pried it open. Oh. And of course, oh yeah, I did forget about these trunks up here. Left my hacksaw. I mean my pry bar. Okay, let's see if we can get this bear taken care of without getting killed. <laughs> we won't get killed, we get mauled. I have a bad track. I was talking to Rootbeard about this yesterday. I don't I don't have a good track record with this bear. There he is. Into the bridge. I think I'd just get overconfident with the bear or something. Alright, let's just sit right here. Actually, let's just go up one more car. We'll get an arrow in it, and then we'll... Got him. <laughs> okay, we shot... You can see where we shot him. Shot him in the chest. That's a heart shot right there, right? <laughs> if TLD had a clippy character, it would say, it looks like you're headed off to fight a bear. Would you like some high winds? <laughs> uh, that cracks me up. Uh, oh, man, I love, uh, clippy jokes are great. <laughs> I don't know why I just love them. I almost, I made a clippy joke at work the other day. That's, I don't know. Never mind. There's a great SNL uh, skit with Clippy. I think it's... Uh, uh, what's that guy's name? J.K. Simmons is the host, and it's great. It's fantastic. Got him. See, now, now you just don't know if he's headed this way or did he turn around? I don't know. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> like Cujo, man. Stuck in the car. Giant beast outside. Trying to kill us. Got two in the chest. Two shots in the chest.
All right. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Uh-oh. Whoa, he just ran. <laughs> oh, my. Well, now we can see him at least. There was no roaring that time. He was just charged. I think I made him mad. I think I made this bear mad. Okay, I think that's enough distance now. Let's give it a shot. Let's do it. There we go. We got him. We got him. All right. He has a backup camera? I think so. I mean, he was like, he just turned around and just like charged. Instantly. You used to always find a jacket in here. I want to say. I'm curious to see if there's any more batteries. This will come in handy. Nope. Oh, she was talking about the gloves. See, I get it. Sometimes she's just telling her jokes, you know? Gotta watch out for ass. Ooh! Trunk jerky! Trunk jerky, baby! Trunk shoes, not quite as, as exciting as trunk jerky. Is that down in the transition there? I wonder where that is. Oh, baby. Glove box jerky now. I can't believe there's only going to be one. There's going to be one battery in this whole zone. None of these trunks are locked. What the hell? Oh, there we go. As soon as I say it, of course. That one's dented. We can't get that one. All right, let's get our arrows before I forget. Guess we could grab some sticks. We're gonna we're gonna need a fire here in just a sec. So let's grab some grab some fuel. We'll scrounge together a little bit. Can. That's good enough. Now this car is another Polaroid possible spawn. We've already found the Polaroid for this zone, but it can spawn here at the car. Just FYI. And only one trunk was locked. That's amazing. Usually it's the opposite. Some gloves. We can get some leather off those gloves. Probably don't really need it, but why not? Okay, so we just had the one battery. I think that's every car in the zone checked. And we just had the one battery.
All right. All right, let's load up this Travoy with some bear meat. That's what I say. Okay. Let me get out of the wind. This spot's out of the wind. I think this this is gonna. I think it's gonna work better right here. I'm surprised it's out of the wind, but apparently it is. So that's good. I mean, based on that smoke, it doesn't look like it's out of the wind to me. Come on, little fire. Come on. I guess maybe my body's out of the wind. Maybe that's what's going on. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Sweet. Got ourselves a bear, folks. It's always fun. Not going to help us with our scurvy situation, but that's all right. It's a big bear butt. Um, okay, let's see if we can do a little quartering here. Uh, no, let's just hang out here. I, I'm probably getting some cabin fever risk building up on us. So let's just hang out here and cook. And Looks like the weather's calming down, so that's nice. There's no predators around this, around these parts now that we took care of the the bear bridge. The, uh, the bridge bear. <laughs> the bridge bear. <laughs> Definitely want to get this hide as well. Uh oh, see, so dropping our pies. Yeah, look out for that. Nine minutes. All right. Well, this is just a good time. <laughs> Can't keep my hands off these pies. Oh, this is lovely. Look at this. Wonderful. I don't I, I must have done something right because the game is just treating me so nicely today. I don't know what's going on. An Aurora. That's what we got. Oh, it's getting dark out here. I'm going to look for shelter. Right. Oh, definitely. I want to try to get that flask today before I stop. Um, so yeah, we'll probably go another twenty minutes or so. I think. Long. For, that's a long stream for Shabby. Okay. Let's try to get some guts now. I want to have some guts. No, let's just keep getting meat. So much meat. It's crazy. Sometimes it just like it just pays to be patient in this game. You're just better off being patient. And sometimes it's just hard to be patient. At least for me it is. I wish you could get the radio 
Can you not get the radio playing from the car? That would be nice. I'll be down with I'll be down for that. Oh. Look out. I know one thing for sure though, we have a lot of slappy sounds going on. And I'm here for it. I'm here for that. Okay, let's try to get some guts now. Oh my, look at that. Oh my. Wow. It's almost better to quarter it for the guts. Two hours. Huh. Hmm. Just thinking here. I'm just, I'm actually trying to think of how I'm going to get the guts all the way back if we go for the guts. Right, let's let's try it. let's go for it let's go for it let's this quarter we got plenty of meat here yeah I probably shouldn't even got the hide off here thirty eight minutes all right we'll throw another coal on there And I thought I did a quart. I did almost half of my quartering there. I mean, I pretty much did half the quartering. I, I was trying to shoot for a quarter of the quartering, but it's hard to estimate. It's really hard. I'm just not familiar enough with the animation to know how far into it you are. All right. Well, let's cook another. Let's cook another round of bear meat. Leave them in the radio tower cave. That's a great idea. And get them after... Yeah. Perfect. You're right. Pest. Great suggestion. Yep. The radio tower cave is just like down... It's sort of downhill from the radio tower. And I'm just saying this for folks. Uh, there's a ton of coal in there too. It's a really nice cave to... You know... Visit... <laughs> Would be actually would be a probably a better cave for cabin fever than the one I usually go to, which is the one across from the church. I usually go to that cave, but I think probably the radio tower cave is probably better. Now that I think about it, I never really even kind of considered it. Forty six minutes. All right. I don't know why that cave just is not on my radar a lot of times. I think you have to play a lot of Outer Loper and Outer Nogoa. Because <laughs> that's like a, that, that cave is like gold in, in those modes. Boatloads of, yeah, buttloads of rabbits up there too. Yep. There's all kinds of goodies up in that whole area. There's a stint. I mean, that whole, from the plane crash all the way to the radio tower, there's all kinds of great things. All right. Let's stop here. I think we're done harvesting this bear. Okay. get a few torches off hang on let me look at my water we need water we do need water let's get some water let's see okay 
that felt a little wonky for, to me for some reason. Okay. Alright, I think that's enough harvesting here. Let's let's just enjoy the let's just take in the sights here. Let's enjoy the view a little bit. I'll try not to jump off the bridge. Well that would be nice if I could get over this. That's wonderful. Love it. Love this game. Just love it. So beautiful. Alright, let's start loading up our goodies into the Travoy. Okay. Boom. Now, I feel like I'm surviving now. We got some meat in this zone. At last. Okay. We're gonna hang on to our pies. They'll stay in our pocket. Sorry, I was just hearing a weird noise. It's just my, my shuffling feet or something. I don't know, it sounded weird. Okay, all set. We're gonna lose our fire, that's all right. I wonder if I can drop it. Okay, here we go. All right. I love this thing, man. Love it. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh... We can drop a lot more here. Let's just do it. Let's put all the heavy stuff in there. We'll leave the clothes on. <laughs> There we go. Now we can move. Let's do it. <clears throat> Trying to stay on the snow, because I, uh, I think as we discussed yesterday, I do believe the snow surface will cause less damage than like the road or other things like that. Rocks, etc. Oh, I, oh! I assume you were going onward through the cave system to the crash. I am, right? This way. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, you just got got your wires crossed. Happens to the best of us. I mean, I'm not sure what to do with this meat. <laughs> I mean, I guess maybe... I'd like to get it on the other side of the bunker. That way I'm, it's more accessible. But I don't know about dragging it all the way. Well, I guess we could. Yeah, okay, we'll just take it to the... We'll take all of this to the other... To the aforementioned radio tower slash coal cave. Closer to Milton. I think that makes a lot of sense to me. It's just we have to carry... We have to carry a bunch of crap through this cave. That's the downside. Uh. 
do have our we do have a lantern right didn't i bring a lantern yeah here it is okay um all right let's try to get should we do this right now i think i'm gonna sleep i'm gonna just sleep here it's gonna go ahead and sleep then we'll, t we'll then we'll try to get through the stuff to the cave after we rest because i just i'm completely exhausted right now oh i forgot my bedroll go back and get your bedroll Okay. <laughs> Water. There we go. We'll take a steak just in case. There we go. Okay. Now we're ready to sleep. Now we're ready. This is too much of a slope. Hey, look at this dead wolf in here. hours Did you my jammies <laughs> forgot my jammies oh no no shabby sleeps in the buff it's that's shabby style it's all part of the shab and fever okay i don't know where i'm gonna go with that just stop talking chad just stop talking oh my Look at this. Okay. Yeah, let's use uh let's I was gonna say, are we gonna be able to keep the torch going? Because but we're not gonna carry the travoy. Uh we're not gonna drag the travoy, so we can use a torch here. Come on, little fire. Oh yeah. That's a good one. Alright. I guess it really didn't matter. We just got to make two trips, no matter what. So, oop. Yeah, sure, why not? How much is left on there? 23? Oh my goodness. Ugh. My, I might want to eat one of my venison pies to do this. I don't know. Let's do it. Let's just transfer all. Okay. We still have 18 kilos. All right, that should be, this should be a little kind of a tedious task here, but I gotta get my dog. He wants to go outside. I'll be right back. Let's go. Can move pretty decently here with this. Probably should have grabbed more. Guess I can drop my bear coats and stuff when we get to the other side. Already complaining. Uh. Are the torches still rolling? Like they they started doing that recently. I'll take it. Fifty three percent. Okay.
it's gonna be a little bit of a pain to get I'm just trying to think of how to get all the stuff like to the other side because you know it's a one-way trip so you can't just like dump some stuff and then come back and grab it you have to do it all in one go when you go over that that threshold just something to think about uh, you don't remember them not rolling okay well huh all right let's leave it all here I just, they seem to roll more than they used to, to me, but, you know, could be wrong. I'm always open to that possibility. I guess we could do it like this. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Let's do it. I mean, just think, if we didn't have the Travoy, just think how much of a hassle this would be. I mean, you just have to leave the bear up on the bridge. That'd be about your only choice. I mean, it is, it's kind of a, you know, it is kind of a little bit of a pain to come back and forth, but it's like, it pales in comparison to what sure I can carry much more. it would be without the Travoy. Okay. All set. Let's go in. I'm really like I usually don't think about dropping my bear coats, but I don't know. Someone mentioned it the other day, and I was like, I should do that. It's just an easy way. You can drop 10 kilos just like just dropping two items, and you're 10 kilos lighter, just like that. I think actually, Pest, you were saying something about that because you're like, hey, you can use the hockey jersey if you're the type of person that drops their bear coats. <laughs> I don't know why I remember that. Okay. Snow is starting to come down. Um, oh, we need to deploy the need to deploy this just to get kind of down the hill a little, little ways. I can barely walk with this much gear. I'm still not sure how this is gonna work. How dropping this, getting all this over the threshold, it might just be just moving really, 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 really slow. I was this close to saying that it would be a good time to have a hockey jersey. <laughs> uh, yep. Oh, I can't move at all. I'm totally locked into place here. Okay. Put all the meat on there.
Okay. Alright, we're gonna lose our we're gonna lose our torch. I'm actually gonna let's go down here. This might be a waste of time, but I don't know. I like to hang on to my fire if I can. So I'm just gonna go down here. Look at this, there's two deer here. My goodness. Really want to get that flask today, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep going here. Come on, little fire. Okay. Actually, let's just get some. Just to be doing something. Oh, there it is. That was cool. Best torch toss ever. Another warm day looks like in here. be in trouble here oh man I'm not sure okay so we're gonna have to make some decisions here folks let's see wait a minute you can get down okay wait 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 hang on messed up there okay so right here is our sort of point of no return at least with the travoy um maybe let's see how far we get the travoy I guess that'll be the determining Help us make our decision here. Torch toss is official sport of the, uh, the Great Bear Olympics. <laughs> yeah, that was a gold medal. That was a gold medal toss right there. Okay, we got the wolf nearby. Oh, that's it. That is it. It's as far as I can get it. And get this line up or shot here. Uh. No, to the way short. Got him. Got him. Sweet. All right. Now that's our wolf threat taken care of. <laughs> okay. I got to figure out. I got to figure out what the hell to do. How, to, how the hell to get this down here. I'm obviously not going to be able to take all the meat. That's just not going to happen. All right, I'm going to be right back. I got to let my dog back in. Okay, decision making time now. Decision making time. All right, now how the hell do we get this down? I mean, it's really just like you just we just have to I mean, I definitely want to take the bear hide for sure. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. The guts don't really. There's there's only one kilo of guts, so. Okay, the rest is just meat. Guess just try to take as much meat as we can. <laughs> I 
I can't pick it up. I can't pick up the Travoy. All right. All right. I guess I'd rather have the cooked meat rather than the... Although we can make stalker's pie with the... All right. We're 15 over now. Okay. I can move. All right. I can take a little bit more. Okay. All right. This is this is enough for me. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go back up there and get whatever I left behind. Oh, I still so have the venison pie. That'll help us. Might be able to get most of it. Took care of our wolf threat too, which is awesome. I'm gonna eat one of these pies. And this pack is getting kind of heavy. And then we're gonna camp out down in that cave by the plane crash, that little shallow cave down in there. All right, oh, we can carry some more stuff. <laughs> Why not? All right. I still had to do a bedroll check. I was, I was, you know, you still have to make sure. <laughs> I was, I was moving so many things around in my inventory. I was like, you gotta make sure you have your bedroll still. Okay. All right, let's deploy the old bedroll. I mean, the Travoy. Okay. Put a leader in there. All right, look at us now. Look at us. I do want to grab. Let me get a couple pieces of cooked. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Put those in there. Let's see anything else? I'm not going to make any pancakes, so we'll just put that in there. I'm not going to need the lantern. Okay. All right, let's go. And again, we took care of the wolf threat, so no worries. No worries, as far as I can tell. That's just when you die, though, isn't it? <laughs> Where's the other one? Eric? Oh, there it is. Okay. We got a we got a blizzard brewing. Looks like. There's a bunch of fuel and whatnot that you can get down here. So. You can pretty much sleep through the night as long as that fire I think the I don't know if the fire is you know completely out of the wind or not I'm not sure Let's see which is, where do you go up over here okay let's keep our eyes peeled for the jackrabbit flask so exciting 
Now, see, I mentioned the Blizzard tease, and then the game's like, um, actually, okay, no, no Blizzard. We have to prove Shabby wrong once again. I have a perfect track record on my speculation. It's always wrong. My speculations are always wrong. Okay, um, we got the stem. It's always a important thing to find here. I have heard a uh, I have heard a rumor that there are combat pants in a crate, but I think that's down there. But um, we don't need combat pants. But I'm, my curiosity I don't know. I can't help myself from trying to or not trying to, but like peeking in there and seeing if there's a if there's combat pants in there or not. See, look at all this wood here. Tons of wood. Oh. Sweet. I'm so excited right now. So excited. Is it in a container? Where is it? Oh, man. Jerry can. Yeah, I think it's this crate right here. This stuff will come in handy. Actually, Astrid, it's not. It's not going to come in handy. I'm so happy. Hope nobody needs this uh, Sweet. Will's flask. How how about that? That's great. Okay, it's nice and warm. I'm gonna go ahead and crack open this crate. See if we can see if that theory is correct or not. Look at this, 43%. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, let's, let's skip this. Yeah, I did. Oh. Hmm. All right. Maybe that was just old information. But I must know. I must know. Okay. It must have just been old information. Or either just totally made up. Maybe totally made up. Yeah, it is the best. That this is the best flask. I was, I'm so excited now that I have it. It's great. So cool. Okay. All right, we're gonna make a fire here, and I'm gonna stop for the day. That's it. Very nice day. In the long dark. Like I said, we must have done something right because everything was just going our way today. Now watch me die in, in my sleep. <laughs> okay. Alright. I'm going to sleep for an hour and save it. Um, let me see what my health is. See, we have full health. We don't even have to sleep. We can sleep incrementally and not worry about our fire going out, killing us. Okay, Pest, Rootbeard, nice hanging out with you as always. Any lurkers as well, thanks for stopping by. Had a nice long session. Um, get a lot colder soon. So, yeah, uh, next time we're going to get all this stuff transferred over to the, the cave that we were discussing earlier. And... Um, 
I think what, and then the final thing we want to do before we leave the zone is get most of our stuff over to the farmhouse. And then we'll be moving on to the next phase, which will be Forsaken Air, sorry, Forlorn Muskeg and Bleak Inlet. And that's the dangerous one. That's the one that scares. That's Aurora Timberwolves, folks. That's what's. That's what we're dealing with, possibly. So, okay. Anyways, we got a ways to go. Yeah, there's a basketball game tomorrow, uh, but I probably will be playing. Uh, I probably will start around nine Pacific time tomorrow, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, folks. Again, take a shabby. See you next time.